Well, uh, one thing with MS, MS exactly knew who uh, he should be uh, kind of giving advice and in, in what way. So, you know, if, if, he, if he knew that a bowler who has been around for a while, which was which was me, you know, he would he would give me all the freedom to to set my fields, and he would uh, he would actually uh, our conversations used to be very minimal, like you know he would just. Uh I think uh, the biggest change is that uh, he has remained himself, and uh, anything anything uh, that resonates with a, a great leader is the fact that uh, you can learn and draw a lot of uh, draw a lot of good uh, good uh, habits to practice, and uh, he is someone who's led by example. He's remained himself, he's remained calm, he's stayed himself, he's never exuded what he's doing. I think for being a good captain, there are two important qualities according to you. You have to be a good strategist, tactically you have to be very good with Dhoni is. And that comes uh, naturally for him because he's a good reader of the game. Even when he was not the captain, the way is to analyze uh, the situations, the team we're in. He understood the strengths and the weakness of uh, uh, the players he was playing with, especially the bowlers. Uh, so I think tactically is is very good. Second is his man management skills. I think that is very good because uh, as a captain you want to be consistent. You know, and I've, I've rated uh, Dhoni as probably the best captain because of that consistency in the way he communicates uh, to the players, irrespective of the loss or a win. And we we know if he's if he's there for long enough, he's an extremely dangerous player. And we've seen throughout his whole career, he's he's got injured over the line on numerous occasions and. He, he finds the boundary at the right point. Stones in his career. 2007, the World T20. 2011, the World Cup. 2013, the Champions Trophy. The big emotional return of Chennai Super Kings as IPL winners in 2018. So many. Whatever he has done over the years, you can't disrespect him. What he has achieved, so, so, so many trophies for the BCCI. At the same time, he's a good human being, good honest man. But one series can't make him bad. He's a, he's a good man, he's a good leader. Everyone loves him around the dressing room. So still, I think, uh, still a lot of cricket left for him. He has showed a lot of character, discipline, honesty around the players and around the management. So still, wait for some time, you're gonna see so much winning for Team India. That is the beauty about the Mahindra Singh Dhoni's captaincy is the fact that he has got this fantastic uh, gut instinct, he acts on it. He's one of the best captain we have and we should respect that. And uh, when you ask question, you have a doubt in your mind. I have no doubt. So I don't even talk about him. He's the best captain. He's one of the best captain we have and we should respect that. About Dhoni's captaincy, I think uh, he's extremely calm, he's positive, he reads the game well and he, he tries to be a step ahead of the opposition and uh, he's done a fantastic job there. So uh, I've, I've uh, enjoyed playing cricket with him and playing under him. MS has got this fantastic personality of remaining calm remaining calm under any situation. You know, a lot of people have asked me that you've played with him, how does he remain so calm? I said he doesn't show it. You know, from inside he's different, from outside he's different and that's a great quality of a captain. You know, it, it's, a, it's a thing which keeps going around in the dressing room and the players and I think he's been a great servant of the game. I think he gets a lot of respect. Uh, we only look at the criticism but I think the amount of respect he gets in India is unbelievable. Cricket ability, his understanding of the game, Understanding of situations is priceless. To have this burden off his shoulders, I think is he's going to enjoy the best phase of his career, you know, as a batsman is concerned. Um, and he'll be able to enjoy his cricket far more than he's ever done before without the burden of, you know, uh, being at, uh, under the scanner all the time. So I'm really, really happy for him. For me, being honest in life is very important. Hard work that you have to put, you know, irrespective of what your profession is. The hard work, the honesty, respecting the elders, which I feel is the key. You know, if you don't respect the elders, be it your parents or be it anyone, you know, it becomes... Uh, that's what life is all about. Go through the difficult periods, fight it out. But if you can do it with a smile, you know, that you'll become part of maybe the five person, persons, you know, who can actually do it. Because at times we crib about life, about the tough period, but What's important is to go through it's a tough period that actually make you a better human being.